Hello again, everyone. I am back with yet another serious eye-opening and thought-provoking message. The title, topic, or subject matter of this message is A Communist Takeover or The Communist Takeover. But before I get into this message, I would just like to say that if, you, if you're not spiritual, if you don't believe in the supernatural, and this audio message isn't for you, if you think everything is a joke and a game and you just don't take life seriously, don't, you know, don't waste your time looking at this. Don't waste my time. Don't waste God's time. Don't waste anyone's time for that matter. And I would also like to point out that I am a female, okay? Oh, in her 30s, okay? I'm a female. I'm not a male. Don't, please don't address me using male pronouns or as the LGBT community likes to say. Don't misgender me. Just, you know, dress me using feminine pronouns. And I would thank you most kindly for getting into this message. I'm going to get right into it. If I'm being honest with y'all, frank, honest, and blunt with y'all, this, you know, we're seeing, a, we got a communist takeover on our hands. I mean, let's just, let's just wake up and stop kidding ourselves. I mean, this, this, sadly, this stuff is only going to get worse because, as one Nigerian brother had put it, you know, we're in a time now where, you know, wrap-up activities are going on. And as I've been saying for quite some time as well, you know, we're in a time now where things are, are happening it's going to lead up to the end of the world as we know it. You know, you know the 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 rapture or catching up in a way of the bride, the body slash bride of Jesus Christ. You know, the tribulation period, the new world order, the mark of the beast, and the rule and the reign of the Antichrist. Okay, and we're in a time now where things are only going to get worse. Okay, the only thing that's really going to improve in this world is you know the spiritual condition of God's people. Okay. Now, I know y'all don't like this. This is uncomfortable, but God has is using, you know, these worsening conditions in order to prepare us for his coming. And also to let us know beyond a shadow of a doubt more and more that, you know, he's he's on his way back here. And this world is about to undergo his divine wrath and judgment. OK, yes, I know y'all don't like it, but, you know, y'all might as well just hook on hook up your seat belts because we're about to take off. OK. You might as well get your your battle armaments and, you know, get your armor because, you know, this this is going to be war, man. You also have to understand that we're in the midst of spiritual warfare. And the word of God tells us that we don't battle with flesh and blood, but with powers and principalities of the dark side or the kingdom of darkness. So this battle isn't uh, physical slash natural, but rather spiritual slash supernatural. OK, and it's only going to get more intense. OK. And, you know, what's going on in the earth, the, the word of God or the Bible or the script came in the scriptures, liken it to birth pains. OK, or, or labor pains. OK, the closer it gets to the birth of the baby, you know, those contractions are going to going to um, they're going to become, you know, more severe and they're going to happen at more frequent uh, or occur at, you know, more frequent intervals. OK, they're going to happen more often. In other words, or occur more often. I'm going to just say, I'm also just throw in that the Bible also says the word of God, the Canaan of scriptures. It also points, points out that um, when we see these signs, don't, it didn't say go, you know, swallow Maalox and stick your head in the sand and just hope for the best and that it all pans out in the end. But rather, you know, lift up your heads and rejoice for your redemption draws not or your redemption in old English, archaic English, you know, as it says, and like it says, you know, your redemption draweth not. Okay. So and also says that now we're closer. And I'm going to add in to than ever um, to our redemption than when we first believed. Oh, we believed. Okay. You know, to our salvation. I forgot what it said exactly. Well, I'm going to just put it like this. Just check out um, James 5, 8 and Romans 13, 11. Okay. And to see what it says about it. But anyways... Back back to the communist takeover. I have to leave a link in the description because um, I posted a sermon that Brother Howes, Jack Howes to be exact, had preached back in 1972 called a communist takeover. Okay, and that's what we're seeing in the world today. And the thing that trips me out is, and I hope this changes before we get out of here, is that you know how ignorant the vast majority of the body slash bride of Jesus Christ is to you know the communist takeover. That, you know, take, has taken place throughout the 20th century in other countries and how it grow gravely and grotesquely. Gr I'm going to just say gravely and grossly affected or grossly and gravely affected the, the people there. OK, everybody, 
you know, all they tell, especially, I'm um, on me no harm, but this, is, this especially is the case for, you know, the white preachers and pastors and stuff. All they want to talk about is, you know, what Adolf Hitler did to the Jews, but they don't talk about what happened, you know, what Joseph Stalin did in the Soviet Union or, you know, Fidel Castro, that's hardly ever mentioned, you know, if ever, about, you know, what Fidel Castro did to Cuba, what, you know, uh, Mao Zedong did to China, and what Pol Pot did in Cambodia, okay? I mean, if I were y'all, I would do research on these subjects because, you know, our history is a lie first and foremost, and you also got internet trolls that are hanging around promoting socialism and communism as being good. We talk about freedom and, you know, capitalism. They'll mark and make fun of you and they'll jump all over you. And, and these are also the same trolls that go around, you know, trying to force everybody to, you know, believe that Jesus is white or, you know, like a so-called Jew. Yes, he was a Jew, but he was a black Jew, okay? The people that are, in, that are considered the Jews now, they're actually white, okay? They came from the Greco-Roman and Ottoman empires, okay, which is in Europe, the last I checked, okay? So they're not the chosen race because, for starters, and this isn't my subject, but I just thought I would throw that in. They're, they're not, you know, one way you know this is because, you know, they got the highest rate of skin cancer in the world. Because you're not going to live over in the Middle East and, you know, be lily white or whatever. I mean, this is just unrealistic. But, you know, Hollywood, the mainstream mass media, and internet trolls are trying to cram it down your throat anyhow. And also about the rapture, this isn't my subject either. But, you know, it, it ties in or it dovetails with, you know, the subject that I'm covering for this audio message. Okay, the title, topic, and subject matter of this message is a matter of fact. And, you know, these are also the same trolls that uh, mock and make fun of a pre-trib rapture. And, by the way, the pre-tribulation rapture is for the, the saints, okay, the, the, the chosen God's chosen uh, uh, believers, followers, you know, the, the, the believers, followers, and saints of God, basically. Okay, the 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 wise, the true. I say the wise, true, and um uh, genuine virgins. Okay, my bad. That that wasn't right. Um, the rapture, the pre tribulation rapture is actually for the wise, um, true and real virgins. Okay, the mid trib rapture is for the fake. I'm gonna just say the foolish, uh, fake and false virgins. Okay, and also the post trib rapture is for you know this. I wouldn't say it's post trib necessarily. But, you know, it's near the end of the tribulation period, okay? It's of the house of Israel, who God, of whom God deals with, you know, during the tribulation period. He turns back to dealing with Israel, and they're black people, by the way. They're not, you know, those black Africans that, you know, the world looks down on. I mean, they're the true Jews, and, you know, all this stuff about, you know, bashing on the black race. You know, they're actually persecuting true Israel. And it's gotten even gotten to the point now as to where they don't want you saying that. Because they, they say, oh, it's hate speech or, or whatever. But how can it be hate speech when it's the truth? But I guess, you know, in Satan's eyes or the devil's eyes, you know, truth. the Bible says he hates truth and there's no truth in him. And you have to understand this communist takeover, you know, the kingdom of um, darkness is behind it, okay? The powers and principalities of the dark side, you know, Satan, the, the demons and the fallen devils and fallen angels are behind these, the forces, you know, the forces of hell, the forces of evil and wickedness. They're behind this stuff, okay? And I, I really just hate that. You know, that's how I know that the um, that, um, YouTube has been taken over by shields and bots and trolls and all this kind of stuff. You know, agents and, you know, control opposition or whatever. Because uh, it's like God's people get out here and they play stupid. And that, like, they don't, as I was saying in that audio message. And I'm also, you know, post a link uh, um, to, to that in the description about you know, YouTube censorship and stuff like that, or, or censorship on social media, period. You know, these popular uh, uh, big tech uh, uh, says social media networks, uh, uh, I would say networks, uh, outlets, or whatever, platforms. Yeah, that's the terms I was, those are the terms I was looking for. And this stuff is only going to get worse, and y'all just need to get used to the fact. I think, in, in a sense, God is testing us to see what we bow to peer pressure. Okay, just look. And what our brothers and sisters in Christ are dealing with in countries where, you know, this stuff is already a reality. You know, places like North Korea. And I also forgot to mention that, you know, preachers and pastors hardly ever mention what's happening in North Korea. And also Eritrea. And somebody said, what does that have to do with me? If you're a true believer, you know, we got brothers and sisters in Christ. They're suffering 
in those countries because, you know, of those uh, total totalitarian or I would say socialistic slash communistic regimes, okay? They're locked up in prison. They can't practice their faith out in the open. And, you know, this is related to the subject that I'm talking to, uh, talking about, and that, that I'm speaking of and speaking on, okay? You know, we have a communist takeover, you know, and one, and one of these days it's going to get to the point where they're going to start putting us in prison. This leads up, and this also concerns, you know, the coming persecution, okay? This is why it's going to lead up to, I'm at the post, uh, links in the description, you know, to those audio messages that I did uh, uh, two, three years ago about this subject, okay? And y'all need to just wake up and smell the coffee and stop playing stupid and act like you don't know why this stuff is happening, okay? It's in the Word of God, number one, because it says evil men shall wax worse and worse. And in, in, in other words, the devil's cry is going to become more evil and wicked, those that are of the tares. But God's people are going to become more holy, godly, and righteous, you know, the devil's cry is going to become more evil, wicked, and depraved, okay? Because we're in a time now, I also want to throw this in, you know, uh, um, where the tears, as I was saying earlier, you know, about rapid activities and, you know, things that are happening. It's going to lead up to the end of this world as we know it. Not only this earth is having contractions and stuff, but uh, moreover, you know, we're in a time now where these seeds are reaching maturity, okay? The wheat and the tears you know, you're going to recognize them more and more the closer we get to the end of this age. And like my late pastor said, you know, when the pressures begin to come down, when they begin to pressure people, and they begin to persecute people, we're going to see then who really has God in their life, who really got, who's of, the, who's of one of the wheat and one of the tares, because God's people are firmly established in the word and stuff. And, you know, we're the ones that's going to heaven, and we're the ones that the Holy Spirit is leading towards all truth and all uh, uh, godliness, holiness, and righteousness. Because God is, does, contrary to what these preachers and pastors out here are saying, especially the white ones, because they're, in, they're especially in denial. You know, God doesn't deal it with everybody the same. He doesn't deal with the wheat and the tares the same. It's like he doesn't deal with, you know, the Gentiles and the house of Israel the same, okay? I mean, internet trolls will try to mislead you and make you think that it's a one-size-fits-all, that God is this uh, egalitarian socialist or something slash communist, you know, like, you know, all men are created equal. You know, that's a lie from the pits of hell, okay? There's no equal rights for all, okay? Because, number one, the Illuminati, they view us, and uh, the Illuminati basically is uh, the powers and principalities and forces uh, of, you know, the dark side, okay? Or, you know, the... Uh, powers and principalities of the kingdom of darkness, okay, they're, they're, you know, basically demons behind cloned bodies, and they're the ones that's, that's tightening the noose concerning this censorship um, issue that we going, we got going on, okay, and trolls, and also those same trolls, and I'll try to make you think that, you know, Jesus is white, and that communism, and, and you know, slavery, bondage, and, and subjugation is good, but, you know, they also stand you down that there's no such thing as a pre-tribulation -tri rapture, especially for the saints. They only promote mid and post-trib. I don't know what pre rap is, so I ain't going to go there. It's something some, uh, it's something the white man made up, and that, and that doesn't even count because that doctrine is not only false, and it's doctrines of demons and devils, but it doesn't make any, absolutely any sense at all. I can't be pre wrath when wrath is already going on. But anyways, and these trolls also try to make you... You know, they'll curse you out and stuff, and, you know, make you think that, you know, you're crazy and they'll gaslight you or believing in pre tree or rapture. And thank God that one person, you know, they recognize that these were demons, okay? These are not mere Christians that, you know, are ignorant and, and misguided and stuff. These are demons, okay? Because as John Hagee said, uh, and, you know, Yahweh rules back when he was on the air, you know, Satan hates the teaching of the rapture. And y'all need to stop playing stupid. A lot, and the bad, what's so sad about it is, a lot of y'all claim y'all are following God. It's no wonder the Bible says, you know, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Okay? In communism, please do y'all research about what's happening, you know, what happening during the 20th century and, and still is happening in certain other countries and stuff in the world. Okay? Because like William Branham had prophesied, he said fascism and Nazism, you know, it will fade to gray. You know, it will kind of be phased out. But on the other hand, socialism and communism will flourish. OK, and, you know, what's happening now is this is why they don't teach this stuff in school. They don't teach what happened in, you know, Soviet Russia or the Soviet Union in general, which includes the Ukraine, which has been in the news a, a whole lot over the past, uh, um, I would say, eight years and especially over the past two and a half years. OK, I'm sorry, the past year and a half to two years. 
Okay? They don't tell you what happened in Stalinist, uh, uh, um, I'm just say Soviet Union. They don't tell you what happened in, you know, Fidel Castro's Cuba. They don't tell you what happened in, in um, I would say, uh, uh, Cambodia, Pol Pot's Cambodia. You know, with the Khmer, Khmer Rouge or whatever you call, you want to call it Rouge is a uh, is a uh, French word for is the French word because you know it's French and it's a part of you know like Vietnam, a part of uh, French Indochina. Okay, Rouge is um the the red. Well, it's, 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 I'm gonna just say it's the French word for red, and you know what color you know uh, red is. Okay, what substance red? Uh, that's the color red, and that's blood. Okay, is represented. You know the horse, the red horse of war. And bloodshed and stuff and murder, it, you know, and even rape, you know, it rolled through, it rolled through Cambodia back in uh, the mid to late seventies, from seventy five until seventy nine, and they also never tell you what what happened in Maoist China, you know, during the Great Leap Forward and the Communist uh, Revolution. I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, the Cultural Revolution. I mean, they should call it Communist Revolution. And did you know in China, when people try to you know speak up or speak out against what's what's happening? You know, they were called rightists or, you know, the anti-progressives or whatever. I forgot what it was. Y'all going to have to do y'all research on what happened to this with this with all of this mess. OK. And also, you know, they never tell you what what's happening, what's ha what happened and what's still happening over, you know, with the Kim Dynasty, you know, over in North Korea. And, you know, they also call Eritrea, which is in the Horn of Africa, you know, near those you know, those countries of uh, Djibouti and um, what's the other two nations? That you know are uh, often in the news as well. Oh, uh, uh, e Somalia and Ethiopia, Ethiopia and Somalia. Okay, it's over in that area, and you know it's like they call that you know the North Korea of Africa. Okay, because as a pastor over there has been locked up in prison for the past 19 years. I think since uh, between April and June of uh, 2000, and maybe July of 2004. Is that why did they why did they arrest him? Because you know they got he got busted in an underground church. They let two of the prisoners go, but, but you know, him and uh, uh, I believe another pastor, you know, they, they still there, okay? And they just, they're, why does their crime preaching the gospel and following Jesus Christ, okay? And sadly, this stuff is going to spread throughout the whole world because the word of God says, you know, we be, we're going to be hated by all nations for his name's sake. And the reason this is happening is because this is headed into the new world order, and, you know, the mark of the beast and the rule and the reign of the Antichrist. And also this stuff is going to lead up to the rapture of the church because the bride of Jesus Christ is going to get so tired of, you know, this mess. You know, them stalking, bullying, and harassing us and killing us, putting us in prison and stuff that we're going to begin to pray for God to take us out of this earth. I mean, God is, you know, wearing us, you know, in a sense, you know, this is happening for a myriad of reasons. But one reason is, you know, God is trying to. Shift our focus from the, the foolish things of this world, you know, to things that are eternal and more important and thus slash therefore more important because this world is not our home, man. We're just passing through. And we are also as, as, as uh, the greatest book, as I like to call the Bible, the scriptures or the word of God, you know, uh, as it said, you know, pilgrims and soldiers in a strange land. And this land getting, is getting more and more strange. And y'all need to wake up and smell the coffee. Or, I mean, y'all gonna get a reality check anyway. Ways that's inevitable, okay? And God is forced also forcing us into a you know, compelling us to depend more and more on Him and less and less on the systems of this world because you know, these Babylonian back from AB systems is because they're, they're becoming more and more corrupt. And how is that doing us any good when we soon gonna become you know, we're gonna soon be in heaven because you know, uh, um, God is purifying us, okay? That's, that's a part of the purification process. I mean, you know, why would, why would he allow us to be attached to the things of this world when they're becoming more and more corrupt? And, you know, heaven is a very clean place. And the Bible said nothing that's corrupt is going to enter into that place. OK, so y'all better stay prayed up. And one of the ways that you can prepare for, you know, this coming persecution, you know, this really isn't my subject, but it ties into what I'm talking about in this message before I shut this down. Another way, you know, one way is to stay prayed up and another way is do as much work as we can because the Bible says work while it's day before the night is coming when no man will be, getting, be, will be able to work. In other words, you know, they're going to make it, the government's going to make it harder and harder for us to get the truth out there. If there's nothing further, I'm out. Peace. Shalom. Be blessed.